I am Andy, and we're back with Guild Wars 2, and we're just going to continue with the personal story of Living World Season 1. And in this one, I mean, in the past one, we just met up with basically Rox and Bram. And I think this is the part where we get to see if, or we get to see where Rox makes a friend. Because in the in the later seasons, the spoiler, uh, Rox has a pet, uh... So I think a pet devourer, so I think this is where she gets it. So new friends, new enemies. Oh that looks cool. <laughs> it's a, it's like uh, it's one of the more longer titles that I've seen for a chapter though. And like, since there's achievements related to the stores, I wonder if you can. I I assume you can replay them, because it's set up in the same structure as the other seasons, I believe. If it was like the, if it was like how it was when it was originally released, then for sure you can replay it. I think because it was, it was like a one-time deal, but. Like if you missed if you missed the event then you missed the event, so Alright, so we're just getting rid of these dredged and molten core. Or the molten invaders. The molten alliance. <laughs> but yeah, I think this the majority of this Living World Season 1 is, will be new to me, and I think the only uh, thing that else that I haven't really done is, like, the majority of End of Dragons, so... But, but, but with everything else, it's been a while, so... It'll most likely be new except for maybe the Icebridge Saga. That's probably the most recent stuff that I've played story-wise that and like the beginning part of End of Dragons. So knowing my memory I'll probably forget a lot of stuff. <laughs> and as it is recording the Lunar New Year event is over, so maybe I should change out the backpack. <laughs> and I did change colors. So maybe I should change that back too. The the weapons they have is pretty pretty cool. Though. I think it looks I think the rifle looks a lot better than the one I'm using right now, but oh, there's one left. No, there's more than one left. Jeez. So I mentioned before, like since I'm char- like, I don't know if this is just happenstance or just pure luck that because I'm char, I'm, I'm doing- I'm meeting up with rocks first. Like, if, if I was Norn, would I be helping out Bram, or would I still be, like, meeting Ritlock and do all this? Oh jeez. Destroy the sonic emitters. I mean... That is what it is. It's not too tough, but... It's not... Terribly easy as well. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the... I don't know if it's because I'm a mechan mechanist. A mechanist? I... Every time I like... You know, where it's... Can pronounce it one or two ways. Ooh, so we're we're actually getting stuff for flame and frost achievement progress. So that's cool. Maybe I can just replay this just to get this achievement. But I mean, we're already close. We just need fifty-ish more, and probably get yet more missions around this area too. 
for this last Sonic emitter. So yeah, this this is probably where Rox gets the uh, Devour Hatchling as a pet. I, for, I forget what she names it though. Oh, we didn't get in here. Those look like very big pills. <laughs> Yeah, at least we got help with the, with the devourers too. Oh, one night. So I can revive. I'm, I'm sure my goal has this. Like, I'm, not, I'm not even using the, the skills. I probably should get rid of this first <laughs> and then revive will be a lot faster. So usually you would be able to destroy these portals if they happen to spawn in the open world, but for some reason you can't do that here. Forget about me, just get rid of the invaders. And I wonder if they incorporated the scaling in season in the rework of season one. I, I don't know when they introduced the scaling. I think it had to be in part of Thorns for sure because I remember some champions being harder when there's like a lot of people. So I wonder if they retroactively put that in season one. So if you're in the party then this will be a little bit more challenging or more tough. Like more enemies will spawn maybe. I don't know. I think one more wave is gonna yep, one more wave. <laughs> oh one hashing went down again. Oh yeah, as I was saying, like I wanted to or maybe it wasn't the lunar. It's like, not. It's like what? It's like a special lunar chest, not one of the ones you get for doing like five or so dailies. I mean, five or so days of dailies. I think it was this fireworks chest. Like this rifle looks pretty cool. <laughs> Too bad it doesn't shoot like it chain gun, but it is what it is. To the upper training ground. Can we climb? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's like an easier way. <laughs> there is. There's an easier way. Back to your nest. Oh, okay. It's, it, it's just. I thought she was she was gonna train it, but I guess like one of the devoured was attached, and started just falling Listen, rocks. I can't take care of you right now. It's still gonna follow. <laughs> There's the gate. Oh no! It actually, it actually stayed. Like that actually looks adorable. <laughs> Look at the eyes. Oh no! It's actually, it's, it's still gonna follow. Okay. I thought, I thought it was gonna stay down there. Oh, for Rust's sake! Shoo! Get! Another pet. Want another pet? You had one before? I didn't know that. Your bow looks. Pretty cool though. Oh, this isn't good. Smell that? Something's not right. That's sulfur, and that means flame legion. They're near. Stay close. Hold out against the invaders. Oh, there's a lot of them. Or a lot of portals, anyways. I think 
Way easier if I put down the turrets, but I don't know if I should. Considering there might be some more, like a boss later on, I'm not, I don't know. Like, I'm doing fine just now. But maybe they're gonna enter more than one at a time, more than one point at a time. <laughs> There's a bigger portal. Okay. Merit. Outnumbered and outgunned. Are we? I don't think so. I've seen things scarier than you come out of my pet. What 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 was your pet originally? Now you put the turrets. I, I honestly didn't know that Grox had a previous pet besides the Devourer. I don't think it appeared in the previous part. Like when she was talking to Ritlock. I don't think that showed up. I could be wrong. There we go. Debris for the rocks. We're too late. Look, tread marks, footprints. They took some of the workers away. Alive. Kim? I don't think we can. That, that's not an entrance. I have to secure the hatchery, but then I'm going to track them down. When I find out where they took the prisoners, I'll contact you. Okay. Come on, bud. Let's get you something to eat. <laughs> Achieving the life for me. Uh, we would have preferred to take one back to the Tribune. To Tribune bring someone alive, but at least we're not walking away empty-handed. The Molten Alliance is taking prisoners, and we need to find them. What about the hatchery? Uh, you're good to head out. I'll finish securing the hatchery, then I'll start asking about... Asking around about where they might have taken the prisoners. There's no way I'm letting it, them get away with this. Okay. So we got two salvageable fused metal scraps. A refugee child's drawing to gain karma. That's an adorable picture. And we got two deluxe gear boxes. Oh yeah, that's my loot. Oh wow, that was it. I mean I guess that's just the chapter. It's, it's not the it's not the entirety of <laughs> like the first part I, I would assume. Because it's, it's still Flame and Frost. It's, it's just it's one small part. Or I guess... Kind of big, but... Uh, it is what it is. Apparently next up is the battle for Cragstead. Oh, we can still talk to her. Or do we already? Oh, never mind. Oh, it's a different... It's a quick lash. Dang good thing you came along when you did. They were about to kill me when they heard the commotion you were making up by the front gate. It looks like everyone else is dead or taken. Oh my, Warband runs this place. I can't leave. Please, if you can find a way to rescue any of those who are taken, do so. And make them pay for our pain. I can't be the only one left. I just can't. And my Warband and I maintain a hatchery. We care for the baby lash tails. I've got to rebuild and re-secure <laughs> re it somehow. Figure out what to do. Okay, surprise attack. I, wa I was off duty taking a nap when I heard yelling. I ran out to see my warband running up towards the training ground. I headed to the hatchery and... I got knocked tail over a horn by one of these dang flame legion portals. I tried to fight, but a dredge hit me with a sonic blast and I went down. I can't believe I survived. Okay, do you know anything about the devourer? Yeah. Every batch has a slightly odd one. That little albino lash tail is quick, quicker than the rest. Smarter too, but shy. Never really took to anyone like the rest did. Seems like he found somebody he likes now, and I say good for him. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't even know that the that one was albino. Interesting. So there is like 
albinoism in in this game. Although it's like rare, like the, the, this this is the first time I've ever seen it referenced. So like I, I don't know if you'll be I, like I don't know if you'll be able to see like see like instances in the open world maybe. Maybe I just haven't been paying close attention for it, so there might be. But like I said, it, it, it hasn't been, like, they don't mention it, like, they don't mention it a lot, so. There could be, but then we might never know. <laughs> Unless it's, if it's, like, expl explicitly said. Alright, so we got our two mails. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank you for assisting me at the hash tree, especially since it was a warband test. I would have failed it if it weren't for you. This was the first stage of my trials, which I, which means I owe you. Big time. I'm so shocked that Brimstone is even considering me, but we've got bigger fillet, fillet, fillets to sear. I've been talking to a few vigil representatives. They've been closing in on the location of the Molten Alliance headquarters, at least one of them. There are hundreds of thousands of old mines lining the Shiver Peaks, so it might take a little digging to track down the right one. Regardless, when I find out, you'll find out. And then we'll take the fight to them. So, I guess this is this is where we're gonna meet Bram again, if we're going to the Shiver Peaks. And, like, knowing what happens... Yeah, she... rocks does... <laughs> like, Ritlock's... Ritlock was right in seeing something in her, so... Alright, as long as you're going to Holbrack, you are going to Holbrack next, right? <laughs> Give that man mangy old mutt Newt Whitebear a message for me. Tell him I got Norm refugees showing up in my office, and I don't appreciate it. Especially ones that claim to be Air's son. Oh, and I wouldn't protest if you hefted a Norn ale for me while you're there. It's far stronger than the watered-down dirt we've got at the Citadel. Well, don't have to ask me twice. So I guess we will... So apparently there's refugee camps. I mean, I guess it makes sense if the... If, like, the Molten Alliance is, like, terrorizing places so that there will be refugee camps in all of the main cities or the main, uh... main maps. So that would make sense. Okay, so I guess in the next part we'll we'll uh, go to the loft and learn more about Bram. He also turned out to be something special later on in the like in the later seasons in the Ice Boot Saga. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this was interesting. We helped out Rox. Rox gained a friend, which will. I mean. I, I don't know what happens though. I, I, I think she still keeps it, but yeah, that was interesting. And next up, we'll meet up with Bram. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.